So I found this very interesting video by film companion South. It's called Understanding the Mallu Arjun. Mallu Arjun, Mallu Arjun. Phenomena in uh, Kerala, how he's the second biggest, I think, star uh, who, you know, uh, he's also re- he enjoys a really, you know, great fandom there. And it's very interesting that, you know, Malayalam films are so realistic, grounded, and that's, and they're appreciated. People enjoy those films. But, you know, a uh, Vijay film or Alu Arjun film does so well. Uh, a KGF does so well in Kerala. So it's not that, you know, people just want to watch one kind of film. But also then there's a lot of complaint when, you know, Malayalam films trying to go mass, people don't like that. So it's a very weird uh, combination. And I think the thing is that it should be good mass. And I think Malayalam kind of lacks in mass uh, cinema. Uh, and I think that's what the void is filled by, you know, Alurjan films or Vijay films or, you know, those kind of mass films. Uh, but uh, let's check out this video essay. Uh, very excited. Again, uh, I'll be pausing in the middle talking about. So this is not a, you know, alternative to the original upload. You can check out the original. I'll put the link in the description on Film Company South channel. And uh, let's have a look. Uspa. The 8th of April, or Allu Arjun's birthday, is hey, no ordinary for Trivandrum-based Prabhu VR. Born on the same year as his favourite Telugu superstar, Prabhu is coordinating a statewide charitable exercise that aims to provide meals That's to cool. old-age homes and sweets to orphanages across all of Kerala's 14 districts. This may sound logistically complex, but it's also something Prabhu has been doing ever since he co-founded the All Kerala Stylish Star, oh. Allu Arjun. This is very unique and interesting, you know, it happens in, especially in South. You know, like some, act, I know some actors have, I think, asked for no such thing. I think Fahad have asked to stop his associate, like fan association and everything. But some stars, you know, make it like uh, own to it. And I think like Allu Arjun, you know, that they're doing something uh, beneficial for the society also uh, using that fandom. Fans and Welfare Association or the AFWA way back in 2006. Prabhu is someone you may call an OG fan of Allu's, that rare Malayali fanboy who started following the star even before his films got dubbed into Malayalam. Vijay, okay. a friend of mine, was working in Hyderabad in the 2000s, begins Prabhu recalling that face. Even before we had heard of Allu Arjun, Vijit kept talking to me about this new star who was also related to megastar Chiranjeevi. Okay. So when I visited him in Hyderabad, he took me along to watch his movies. Even though I could not follow the language, there was something that drew me strongly to Allu Arjun. It may have been his dance moves, his style or his fashion, but song. I could see something other Malayalis... You know, there was a time when I used to watch and react to, um, you know, songs. <laughs> Song reaction playlist, I think is available on my main channel. Uh, still, it's still out there. I've not taken them down. Uh, just as memory, uh, I don't. I don't think they get views anymore. But uh, yeah, those were the days. <laughs> Soon discover. This was exactly what distributor Kader Hassan too saw in Allu Arjun, urging him to bring the star's films to Kerala. Okay. He had watched the star's songs and his trailer on a trip to Hyderabad, and he bought the rights of Arya and decided to dub it in Malayalam. Arya was a big hit, right? Uh, I've not seen it, but I've heard like Arya too, especially. In his words, he saw in Allu Arjun traces of his uncle Chiranjeevi and the Tamil superstar Vijay. Ah, both of them had okay. created a fan base in Kerala and they were both great dancers. It was a reasonably safe bet to take. And he says, <laughs> it was a film with that tonality. It had great songs and it had all the elements that made it larger than the realistic serious films of mm-hmm. Malayalam then. Okay. So that kind of, I think every audience, you know, wants to watch all kinds. Not just one kind. I think that's what gives rise to this. Yet despite urban legend of the film's immediate success in Kerala, it was upon its second release that it found an audience. According to this legend, Kadar Hassan went all in for the second release to the point where he pledged his own house to market the film. There was not enough promotions when it released the first time, adds okay. Prabhu. But for the second release, along with presenter Kadar Hassan, we fans to give it a real shot. We started okay. putting up posters of his films in front of schools and colleges and this created some curiosity. I remember travelling to Tengasi to wow. print posters myself even though I hardly had income then. We had also started to pay local channels across cities to get them to play songs from Arya with the hope that this would catch on. It obviously did Very and the song A Ante Amalapuram remains an all-time viral sensation in Kerala. Oh. Here is the song. Okay. Suddenly, everyone wanted to know more about the hero of the song, and the re-release became a huge success. Now- wow! What a what a story! 
when you listen to a telugu dubbed malayalam song you know it is a dubbed song says film critic ashwathi gopalakrishnan who has already written in detail about the allu arjun phenomenon back okay. then a professional malayalam crew worked on arya the lyrics sounded authentic and they were written by real professionals we all knew the lyrics and we could sing along and there is a rarity for a telugu dubbed film in kerala back then it also- that's rarity for most dub songs <laughs> so helped that allu arjun was unlike other male stars of malayalam back then and there was also hardly any rom-coms like arya in that period ashwathi okay. adds allu arjun was the exact opposite of the stars of the 2000s he was playful and his roles were that of the charming mm. brat he wasn't exactly the typical macho guy Even yeah the today, action star. dancing is not a prerequisite to become a malayali male superstar but in but in telugu it's imperative for a telugu star to dance He was a breath yeah. of fresh air and if you see the reasons why Malayali's love Vijay you understand that Allu Arjun 2 was the natural fit he was almost like the Vijay from back in the 2000s yet not enough ah, credit is given to okay. the effort that was put in to dub the film into Malayalam beyond the genius marketing and the fan clubs that were created around the release of Arya it was also a film that was translated very seamlessly into Malayalam filmmaker Jis Joy is known today as a Malayali voice for Allu Arjun as much as he is known oh. for directing super hit films He has done over twenty films for Allu Arjun, and most Malayalis refuse to watch the Telugu original of his film <laughs> because somewhere one feels a mismatch when we don't hear. That's very interesting. Like how even Shreya Sarpath has given voice for uh, for Pushpa in Hindi, and people just connect to that voice, you know. Uh, and I think for Iron Man also, I forget his name, Cutter. Uh, full name I forgot. He gives voice for that in Hindi, and he is so popular. People have like know his voice as Iron Man. they don't know to uh, you know robert and junior's original voice so that's also you know and he does so well uh, giving iron man like because of that the way anyways he performs it's so sarcastic all of that to get that in hindi right it's very interesting this joy i was then the voice of kayam gurum kuchunni he remembers a hit television serial of the time with a thousand episode run it was based on the legendary robin hood character and the film's distributor kadir hasan specifically wanted kuchunni's voice to be used okay. for allu arjun to be honest i did not this is a very detailed video i have to say like so much detail in insight and what really happened behind the scenes how it all happened you know one by one no allu arjun then and i was not able to see the potential of the film's dubbed version i took 3 days to dub it back then and my motivation was not too high all okay. that changed when i saw the film in kochi's maimoon theater on the second day the reactions were the same for any malayali superstar and it ran for 75 days the star oh. followed it up with back to back super hits with films like bunny hero khiladi and happy by the fifth okay. film it became impossible to separate allu arjun from jis joy's voice this made joy the highest paid dubbing artist in kerala wow. and when pushpa's malayalam dub took a day longer to release jis joy couldn't switch on his phone given the number of disgruntled oh. people that were calling him okay a lot changed with the release of the subsequent hits these dubbed films were brought by television wow. channels for a fraction of Music. buying original malayalam films and channels like kerala and surya played them repeatedly the trps were always high and the malayalam version of his songs were a constant across television channels of that period in terms of marketing several techniques were used by his fans that made him a darling with all the movie goers prabhu says back then we would put up cutouts and posters even for other superstars with our club names on it even if you are a vijay okay. fan then you felt oh, happy nice. to see allu arjun fans were promoting your star all of them would reciprocate this favor and allu arjun became a star without haters here in kerala that's a great that's a great way to do it man the fan wars nowadays is so it's something you know which i don't know was there before i think south was definitely there uh but uh, it's good that there are so many fans of people but why hate each other man why fight it was great also idea. a rule as fans that we never fought with fans of other stars but for just joy it took allu arjun's visit to kerala to really understand the gravity of this phenomenon allu arjun wow. himself started I recently saw a video of uh, I think Vijay went uh, to Kerala to shoot and people went crazy and in the car he came in like it had it had dents and it was you know uh, like broken and uh, scratches everywhere uh, and crazy and then I think later he had to go up on a vehicle and say hi and it was a crowd just you couldn't see anything else crazy. 
to market his films in Kerala towards the end of the 2000s and Jisjai recalls the pandemonium on one such visit of his. His manager had told me that Allu Arjun had wanted to meet me and on oh, that visit, nice. his hotel was just five minutes away. I thought the entire meeting would just take a minute to see him and I could return home. But outside the hotel, you could mistake it for a political <laughs> rally. There were buses from across the state and it lined up the entire highway. It took me several calls to be ushered into the hotel for a quick chat and a photo. In his wow. words, Vijay's superstardom can be traced back to the superstardom enjoyed by Rajinikanth, Kamal Hassan, MGR and Sivaji Ganeshan before him. But there hasn't been anyone like Allu Arjun in Kerala. Okay. By this point, Allu Arjun's stardom had grown to the point where it got out of reach of distributors like Kadar Hassan. Allu Arjun's own Geeta Arts began to distribute the films themselves ah. and they often found partners okay. in successful director distributors of Kerala including filmmaker B. Unikrishnan. But how okay. is the stardom perceived by filmmakers on the other side? And what do Telugu filmmakers say about Allu Arjun's stardom in Kerala? One of these filmmakers, Nandini Reddy, feels that Malayalam cinema as we know has this beautiful jugalbandi of this really amazing kind of storytelling that is unique to Malayalam cinema. But at the same time, yep. their appreciation of commercial cinema is with a twist. That's so true. That As I said before, it's so weird that... Because it, it's not like they don't appreciate the kind of, you know, grounded films that are made. They appreciate them, they love them. But, of course, not at the scale of a commercial film. But they're also open to watching a full-on commercial mass film. Alu Arjun first captivated them first with his dance. This scene was so He's good. He's a brilliant dancer. <laughs> He's never in chill mode. He's always looking at what can be done next. And Crazy. how can I make even a fight look thematically interesting? If you see all his fights, they won't just be typical. There will be one cold-blooded fight and in Trivikram Sir's films, there's almost some music to these fights. Yeah. So he's always working on those 30% nuances that give his films a little flip. Within the commercial movie space, he always tries to make himself fresh. And this is what people in Kerala have caught on to vis-a-vis -vis his dubbed films. Mm, it is that effort that made him a star not only among Malayali audience, but also a pan-Indian star today. Vivek Katria, another Telugu oh. filmmaker, feels it is his script selection that could be one of the reasons why he's appealing to a larger audience. He is sharp and the way he carries himself is unlike... I think he said in an interview also with Dhanabam Chopra that he doesn't want to repeat genres, you know, because it will become repetitive. Other. He's one of the great dancers we have in India, but that is probably just a token intro for the Malayali audiences. They would have later watched films like Arya and Vedam and could have enjoyed it more than any other hero. Okay. Mallu Arjun. I like this A lot this has name. changed even for the fans in these 17 years. Their superstar Allu Arjun has grown to become a legit pan-Indian superstar after the release of Pushpa and the second part is said to be among the most awaited releases across yep, the country. That's true. He was also given the national award for best acting and yep. this has given his stardom another colour. But for the fan, the rise in their life isn't as obvious as their stars. When I look back, I feel very happy seeing Allu Arjun turn into a pan-Indian star. In Kerala, from nothing, we were able to build a fan base with over 1 lakh registered members that are both male and female. Yet wow. I wonder if those 17 years were always worth it. I once pledged my child's goal to print posters for his new release. To oh promote God. one of his films, I used money I received from the sale of my land and this got me into a lot of trouble with my family. The my journey God. has been bittersweet and a lot of love has come in from all the charitable activities. Yet no one understands the life of a fan in what they do for their superstar. You can make a movie about wow. my love for Allu Arjun. You know, it's like... Okay, let's say And all that I lost and gained in this process. First of all, a great video, Vishal Menon. Thank you. And the film comes out, definitely go give that video a like if you like this, you know, give it a watch. Like, you know, how you can use, you know, this, I'm personally, like, you know, this kind of blind, you know, fandom and, you know, worshipping, hero worshipping. Because it, most times, you know, it goes in the wrong direction, uh, you know, which is not good. But, you know, looking at this, that you're using the fandom to do good things. You're using the fans, you know, for blood donation and, you know, good things in the society, using that. That's amazing. And, you know, that, you know, the big fan who sold his gold, you know, for his land, just for his, you know, to put out posters and, you know, help out the films of his star. Like, you know, you find out there's so many people behind the journey of a star. Like, he wouldn't be as big uh, in uh, Kerala as he is today if it wasn't for him or the, the one lakh fans who joined, you know, and helped uh, making his films, you know, more approachable in the area. It's just outstanding. Like, we can have a whole documentary about this. And this is the craziness of, you know, him. And I think they talked about how his star 
Adam is so different than others have been before. It's very unique. It's different. And it goes to the choice of films he does, you know, uh, the subjects he's choosing. I think Pushpa, I said before also is him. He can, he could have done any film with the same thing you'd have done before. But him, no, I want to do a very character driven role. Uh, you know, it is really mass. It will be commercial. But I'll play a character. I'll not just be myself and, you know, be stylish and do stylish dance. Even in these dance sequences, he is not a great dancer as a character of Pushpa. But even through that, he finds a step of, you know, uh, Sarveli and he just walks and, you know, tumbles on his uh, chappal and all. Like, even in that, he's creating something new and interesting. So I think, you know, he's pushing his boundaries in what he does. In, in, like, some people may not consider it, you know, cinema or something exceptional uh, it is just mass thing it's not uh, makes sense and all there is that you know thought point out there but uh, even in what he is doing he is doing something different and that's why he's getting success in that so looking forward to pushpa 2 and this was a really really interesting uh, you know uh, oh how did vijay become a super saiyan killer this is a video i should check out what do you think let me know let me know about this in the comments below and you can check out this video next and i will see you next time